I'm Dr. Rebecca Meekins. I'm a urogynecologist here at Virginia Urology. I grew up in Durham, North Carolina, and that's where I completed my, um, you know, high school. And then I, I went to Middlebury College in Vermont, which is a liberal arts school. And I actually, after college, took a year off and I worked um, in a laboratory in Singapore, um, which was an amazing experience. And then I came back from Singapore and did my medical school training um, at Duke University and then stayed on um, at Duke for a four-year residency in obstetrics and gynecology and then stayed at Duke again for another three years to do a fellowship in urogynecology or female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery. When I was in medical school, I had an amazing experience on labor and delivery and bringing life into the world, but also being able to participate in surgeries. It all just sort of clicked for me and it was very clear at that point that um, my future would be in women's health. It was a really easy choice for me um, when I was looking at uh, where I wanted to have my practice. This group of people is not only very collegial and kind, um, but it's a diverse group um, with subspecialists sort of across uh, urology as well as urogynecology. And I wanted to join a group like that where I could you know, find people to send my patients to regardless of what urologic condition they had and join an established group of urogynecologists um, who had a real sort of reputation for excellence. There's really nothing better as a physician or a surgeon and then getting people back to what they love to do. So I think one of the coolest parts about being a urogynecologist and one of the most rewarding is that we see people who are really struggling with very personal and private and sometimes even embarrassing conditions, whether it's a you know, 35 year old recovering from childbirth or an 80 year old with bad prolapse, we can get those people back to playing with their kids or their grandkids or out on the golf course or whatever they like to do. And I think being able to be the person that helps them through that, especially with something that maybe they've never spoken to anyone about, is really rewarding. 